where is the cheapest? What's the cheapest place, city to live in Ukraine? What's the poorest? You know, where are people the poorest live with the lowest quality of life in Ukraine? Where's the cheapest place to rent? You know, an apartment in Ukraine. And where are the best jobs? for expats, for you guys in Ukraine. We get that question a lot. And where should I live in Ukraine if I'm going to come to Ukraine? You know, it's actually a big country, 40 million plus people. Where should I live? And then, of course, the granddaddy question, what city has the most beautiful women? Let's take a look at the stats we pulled from Numbio. We chose top 37 cities, basically, that were in Numbio. Uh, so you've got the population, so you can see you're not living in a village, you're living in an actual city. And then the next column, regional center, that tells you whether or not it is a regional center. If it says zero, uh, it's a regional center. If it's got number of kilometers to the regional center, you know you're not in the regional center. I.e., you know, like how many conveniences are going to be in this place, in the city I'm going to live? Because you want to have a comfortable standard of living, right? Then the next column is the cost of living. That does not include rent. Column E is flat prices to purchase in column E, uh, 700 square feet. Um, then monthly salaries after tax. Tax? What tax in Ukraine? <laughs> column is a G, is flat rent. Then poverty gap. This is interesting. So I calculated this out. It's not in Numbio. It's basically um, the shortfall you have between your income and your total expenses, including rental expenses. So it's interesting, hey guys, you can see that um, in every city, people don't make enough to pay their monthly nut, you know, their monthly cost of living. My beautiful Anya is going to go through the different categories of expenses and kind of explain what the average Ukrainian person lives like. Uh, on those numbers. We will talk about rent, yes. So as you can see, with uh, this kind of uh, income, average person cannot rent a flat for, you know, only for herself. Uh, young people, they come to go to live to bigger cities. They found a job and then find it's very popular in Kyiv when Kyiv or Odessa, when uh, flat owners, they um, give you for rent just beds. So you live, for example, for girls live in two bedrooms flat, gather together for payment for rent. What's the quality of flats most Ukrainian people live in? Flat? You know? Yeah, quality, um, you know, Kyiv compared to like Sumy or Poltava or smaller city. Young generation, they live in old Soviet uh, Union buildings. It do matter in big city, for example, in Kyiv, where situated flat, how close to underground, because it's the way how you can easily get, you know, somewhere. Because people, Ukrainian people use a lot of public transportation. If you talk about uh, food expenses, uh, Ukraine culture be very traditional in this way and also like very healthy. People like to eat at home. I mean, if you will uh, talk about uh, uh, fast food, it's not very popular in our country. Normally when, for example, it's a family, husband go at work, wife can give him something to eat at dinner time. And then transportation, Han, what's uh, kind of the average Ukrainian person used for transportation and costs? A lot of people use public transport, even if they have a possibility to buy a car, for example, used car. Traffic in big cities, so they say it's much more convenient uh, using the public transport. And it's really cost very cheap, for example, underground cost eight grivnas. Very cheap. Yeah. Then uh, marshutka, so small bus. Mini bus, yeah. Mini oh, bus, yeah. Uh, 10 from 10 to 15 grivnas doesn't like divided by 29 will be dollars, half a dollar. But then again, if they have car, it's normally one car in a family. It's not like two cars or three cars. And Ukraine. how about Uber, honey? What's the cost of Uber in Ukraine? Uber also cheap, I mean, compared to West. Very yeah. cheap. 20 minutes would be a couple of bucks in Uber. Two, three dollars for 20 minutes in a, in a taxi. Very cheap. Okay, clothing. Ooh. Clothing, clothing and shoes. Your personal favorite. Uh, in Ukraine, about clothing, what? We have uh, the, the biggest um, Kharkov city where produced a lot of Ukrainian clothes and uh, shoes. 
factories. And then we have China, of course, supply. And then we have even from Europe, uh, uh, what was not sold uh, in Europe shops, they deliver it to Ukraine. Uh, sports, um, uh, it uh, mm -hmm. wouldn't be more than 7%. Yeah, here it's 6%. But sports is a very important component of the Ukrainian people's uh, life, right? They work out. In yeah. the West, we, we get fat and sloppy. We don't go to the gym. But here they really pride themselves on their look, so they, they go to the gym. Surprisingly, they only spend 6% on sports and their vacations. How do they vacation on less than 6% of their budget? Yeah, the most poor people, they just go in, in Ukraine. We have uh, Black Sea and we have Azov Sea. Azov Sea is uh, good for children because it's very like yeah, shallow. shallow, yeah. Knee deep for how far out? How far do you have to walk out before? Crazy, I don't know if you will ever, ever will be yeah, deep. <laughs> Actually, the problem is that sometimes you can pay uh, bigger money than if you will fly to Egypt. That's why people, Ukrainian people, are very cautious about uh, choosing a uh, vacation in Ukraine compared to go to close uh, Turkey uh -huh. or Egypt. And uh, Egypt very friendly oriented. They even now canceled visa for Ukrainian people before it was $25. Okay, last category here is utilities. Can be very different from, uh, from the city. Uh, you live uh, at apartment on how or house. Uh, it's very hard now to sell in Ukraine very big house like 500 square meters because all Ukrainian people they understand how much they need to pay for you know make it to, to heat it at, in winter time. Mm -hmm. You guys are always asking us where are the most beautiful women in Ukraine geographically. So I will just say you know Anya and I might have a little tiffle on this but uh, in in the in the eastern part you know it, they tend to have more russian features very beautiful like you know sumi poltava um in the west they tend to have more soft features you know softer nose more european looking in the south you know where we are again very beautiful soft features um but i'm gonna say if i have to say you know are there women more beautiful, you know, than others in different geographic loca loca locations around Ukraine? Um, I'm going to say that's not, you know, that's not the question to ask. The question is just where are you going to meet the most people? Where, where are you going to meet the most people? You're going to meet the most women. So it's a probabilities number, right? Okay. And it's also important that if it's important, just number, you know, you want to try with 50 different ladies. <laughs> of course, it's important to be in a big city, you know. But if you focus on the quality, I think uh, uh, country ladies from the small cities, they um, less demanding, they, you know, better quality if you talk in, in general. Have you been searching for a beautiful wife? Do you dream of meeting the perfect woman, but haven't found her? Well, imagine if there was a simple way this could all change for you. Imagine if there was a Canadian marriage agency that would introduce you to as many beautiful women as it takes until you find the one, Ukraine a lost world of beautiful traditional women. At last, a place where you can find the beautiful wife you have always dreamed of. Every Ukrainian woman dreams of having a happy family. Now you can have a traditional beautiful wife from Ukraine, creating happy family memories forever. So what are you waiting for? Register right now and Skype our beautiful ladies completely free. So what makes us different, you might ask? Why not ask Google simply by searching Match Guarantee Review.